So we're here with Ali, who's the founder and uh, chief executive of, of, uh, of Tonal. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, we're here. Just tell us a bit about the machine first and what it actually does. Well, Tonal, is, it's a home gym and personal trainer in one. Uh, if you imagine trying to put a strength training setup in your home, you typically have to use up your whole garage. Uh, with Tonal, we've been able to take all of that equipment, shrink it down to something that can fit in any room in your home, um, and put personal training delivered through a beautiful display. And how did you come up with the concept of this? Was this something that was you were passionate about, or was it something that just came to you because of some reason? Well, I'm, I'm an electrical engineer, uh, and I've done electrical engineering my entire career. When I was 35 years old, my health was a complete disaster. So I got serious about fitness, got passionate about strength training, uh, and after spending spending about nine months strength training uh, and going to the gym every morning, I was sitting in the gym one morning staring at this giant machine wondering how I could shrink it down so it could fit into my home. Uh, and the realization was that the reason this machine is so big is because it relies on big metal plates and gravity to function. Uh, and if I could create force using electricity, instead of gravity, I could probably shrink it down and make it intelligent all at the same time. So then, you know, you must have just sat down. Did you start drawing up ideas, designs, and how did you actually take that through to start getting something manufactured? Well, I, I, I went home and I started ordering parts off of the internet and strapped them to my kitchen counter and just started building prototype after prototype. Uh, and after about three months of iteration, I came up with the first prototype that sort of worked. Uh, it didn't work very well, but it was enough to prove to me that I could, I could make this a thing. Uh, and then from there, you know, I think I think it was about seven or eight prototypes and three and a half years of engineering before we had uh, a version of Tonal that was ready to ship to market. Fantastic. And what, what, what was the hardest bit about actually taking it from that kind of prototype to the actual fully functioning design you've ended up with? What were the things that were really difficult to engineer? Uh, well, two things. One is uh, creating resistance that uses electricity, uh, electromagnetics. Uh, basically electricity and magnets to generate force up to 200 pounds. Uh, creating something uh, that uses electricity but also feels so natural that it feels like a real weight machine, uh, that took a lot of work, a lot of algorithms, a lot of fine tuning, uh, a lot of calibration. Uh, and we've gotten it to the point where if you blindfold someone uh, and they use a tonal or regular weight machine, they can't really tell the difference. Uh, the second one was our goal was to make tonal beautiful enough that it would fit into people's homes. Uh, if they stick it in the garage or the basement, they're going to forget about it and not use it. And who wants to create equipment that people don't use? So we wanted to go into their homes, their living rooms, their bedrooms. And in order to make it beautiful, we had to make, you know, not just the, the resistance engine small and sleek, but every joint, every arm. Uh, and so that required us to re-engineer everything. We had to rethink every joint. We had to rethink every mechanism. Uh, we've, we've invented a number of new joints um, that have never been used in any other type of fitness equipment before. The arms are adjustable, so they just spin out like this. This lever over here allows you to adjust the arm into a variety of different positions. Uh, there's an electromechanical switch over here. When I hit this, it allows you to, to you know, adjust the, the angle of the arms. Uh, and we have uh, interchangeable handles. The resistance over here is, is completely electronic. If I set the weight to 30 pounds and I pull on this, the 30 pounds of force that I'm feeling over here this is electricity. There's no gravity, there's no big metal plates involved. It's 100% electricity, and that's what makes it so special. And we've been able to do things that have never been done before. Uh, like we can turn the weight on and off with a click of a button. If I hit this button over here, the weight's off. There's no load on it. Uh, and this allows me to get into position for a bench press, for a squat. Uh, and then when I'm ready, I just hit the button, and then it loads me up uh, with, with load, up to 100 pounds per arm or 200 pounds total. Uh, just quite a bit. It is commonly true that cable-based trainers are, are focused on upper body, uh, and the reason for that is lower body exercises often require you to get into position for things like a squat. Uh, because we have the ability to turn the weight on and off on demand, we actually can turn the weight off, get into position for something like a squat, and then turn the load on. Uh, and so the, the weight on off feature isn't just a fancy feature, it actually makes the equipment much, much more versatile. We'll take you through your weight training program and even in the weight training program, uh, we're interspersing active recovery, stretching, sometimes cardio types of activities to get your heart rate up. Uh, and in the end, we always cool you down properly and make sure you're stretched uh, so that you recover properly, don't get injured and are ready to come back in a day or two and do it again.